Good evening, everybody. It is um, December 9th, and this is a regular town board re meeting for the town of Rhinebeck. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Town clerk's office will be closed on Fridays until further notice. Town hall will be open and all the other departments and offices will be open according to their regular schedule. Also, town hall will be closed at noon on um, Thursday the 19th for our annual holiday party to give thanks to our volunteers and employees. Also, please join us uh, January 4th here at Town Hall at 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. with a snow date of January 9th for a meeting that is being um, uh, co-sponsored with Scenic Hudson. It's a forum on preserving our access to the river in light of Amtrak's pending plan to erect fences along the river. So let's preserve our access to the river. Join us on January 4th at 3 p.m. here. Um, let's start out with resolutions. I'll make a motion for 2019-261 for our preliminary accounts payable abstracts, uh, 44 checks totaling 34,237 cents. May I have a second? I'll second that. Thanks, Ed. Is there any discussion or any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So move. Um, I will make a motion for 2019-262 to hire a part-time temporary worker in the assessor's office. May I have a second? Aye. Thank you, um, Alan. This is uh, to hire somebody not to exceed 20 hours a week, $15 an hour, um, to help out with some file cleaning and additional uh, letter sending out in light of our townwide reassessment revaluation. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Um, I will make a motion for resolution 2019 263 for our budget transfers and amendments. May I have a second? Thanks. Thanks, Alan. Is there any discussion here? Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. I'd like a motion for resolution 2019-264 for the Hapkaido Recreation Program. Motion. Thank you. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Ed. Is there any discussion or questions? No, this is the usual arrangement. Okay. Uh, you're talking in terms of um, revenue share for the yes. town. Yes. yes. Uh, any further discussion or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. I'd like a motion for um, 2019-265, recreation refund. Motion. Thank you, Alan. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Chauncey. Uh, any discussion or questions? This is just a reasonable request that we want to... Somebody signed up who's unable to um, meet the physical demands of the program. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. I'd like a motion for resolution 2019-266, Highway Department purchase for a plasma cutter. Uh, motion. I have a second. Second. Thanks, Josh. Any discussion? Well, we have three bids, so we can actually uh, approve the purchase. Do we have three bids? Yep, right yep. here. Right here. Uh, here they are. They're, they're copy. One of it is uh, 2947. What is a plasma cutter? It's for cutting metals. It's like, um, it's a little bit more functional than an oxyacetylene torch because currently we only have an oxyacetylene torch down there which can only cut steel. Plasma cutter can cut any metal, stainless steel, aluminum, steel, cast iron, anything you have. So it improves our repairability, improves our fabrication ability. Um, 
It's just a more versatile tool. It's one more tool in the toolbox. Is it difficult to operate? Can yeah. Roushy operate it? And... Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, the other thing that you said that got my attention is it's faster than a regular it is, It's faster, it's cleaner, and it's safer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Any uh, discussion? Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Um, I'd like a motion for 2019-267 to advertise for Assistant Recreational uh, Director. Okay. All right, I, that, yeah, I'll make that motion. May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Josh. Okay. So, basically, the, the job is really the Recreation Director job. And the sequence is that the person that we hire for this would, would work part-time up until the end of June and then full-time over the summer as the, as the park manager in a sense, uh, the same job that Chrissy uh, had last summer. And then uh, Elaine Fernandez, the current rec director, is planning to leave the job at the end of the summer at, after Labor Day. And so this person would be, in effect, being trained to be the rec director and take over the rec director job uh, after Labor Day. So rather, rather than advertise the job in August and have the uncertainty about who would get it, we're going to advertise it now so that the person we hire will be trained and ready to go you know, without, without missing a beat in September. Um, we already have a candidate, as you know, Carrie, uh, but we'll, you know, we're, we're obligated to advertise this because of the civil service. Uh, uh, consequences. Great. Um, the clerk, Joan, will put the notice in the newspaper with a direction to a larger, um, will be as concise as possible right. in doing it. Uh, I, I see that we have a job description here. Is this from the civil service job? We, we really should post the civil service uh, job requirements as well as ours. Um, there, there was, yeah, there, I think Civil service has very stringent. Yeah, we'll check. Okay. Sure. All right. Uh, any further um, comment or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Um, I will make a motion for uh, 2019 268 tax certiorari for 55 Chestnut LLC. May I have a second? Second. Thanks, Ed. Um, this is from our assessors, our certiorari attorney, Karen Hackstrom. The assessors have come to an agreement with uh, Roden House Shale and Paladoro, the owners of 55 Chestnut. They challenged the um, assessment, and um, we've come to a settlement. So we're asking for the town board to approve it. Any discussion? Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Thank you. Um, is there any new business for the town board? Alan, I think you have a... Yeah, I do. I'm trying to remember what it is. Oh. <laughs> How quickly we forget. This is a, uh, a resolution to formalize the arrangement we have with the village to uh, plow and coop lane. What is it, every other year? And yeah, we're going to do it every other year. They're going to do... Wind Coop Lane on the even year, on the winters that begin on an even year, they're going to plow it, and on the winters that begin on an odd year, we're going to plow it. So this is our year. Starting now. Mm -hmm. We own about half of them. Yeah. yeah. So this so makes more sense. That's what we do with Hyde Park and yeah. every other town. I got another road I want to do that with, too. Okay. Um, I'll see if I can get that in before I leave. Good. What Frost, other? What Frost else? between us and Clinton. Clinton. It's the same situation. It's about a half and half road. Isn't there half dirt? Yeah, some of their section is dirt. But, you know, we've been doing most of it. I don't know. Great. It just makes sense. Okay. Um, and Village is fine with this. I think it's great. Yeah, okay. Okay. Gary already signed, already signed the IOA. Oh, did we bring this motion to the floor? Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any uh, discussion? Any uh, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Um, Energy services. Energy services? What's energy services, General Schultz? 
who asked for advance time for this to be on the tonight's agenda for the session? Uh, about the street lights? Perhaps. Oh, it must have been. Uh, <laughs> You know, I will bet it was I bet it was before we finished up with that cert certification. I think it I think it's moving. The LED project is starting to move. I hope to have a new project uh, summary for you by uh, our next meeting. But there's really nothing to report tonight. Okay. Great, thanks. Um, Cultural Landscape Foundation proposal. Have you all had a chance to go online and look at what they do? I have. Yeah. Um, I had a couple of questions. It's, a, it's an impressive website. Um, I think I saw something, maybe in the material we got from them, that this would be an online site. Would it also be available in print? Yes. Okay. Um, and it's it's app-based as well. Yes. And have, it's a mobile, they have mobile applications. As well. It would be titled Rhinebeck and the Hudson Valley, yeah. Mid-Hudson Valley. We don't, be, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, Alan, I couldn't hear. No, I, didn't, I, my, I didn't want to interrupt, no, but, I, but I did twice. Um, it's, is it limited to publicly accessible uh, areas? Yes. Okay, that was, that was my question. I, it, it's hard to tell. And the, the request is that we provide a certain amount of money. With it's $86,000 to build this website and then more if we have a launch party. The proposal is that Rhinebeck Town become the first money in, and then um, I would help raise the rest of the money from it, from neighboring municipalities, from the county, um, Chamber of Commerce, um, and Department you know, Tourism. Um, I thought the village, the village as yeah, well. Yeah, the village as well. I mean, it's just, I, I think it's important because it's a, it will help our our tourism, you know, and, and, and cement us as a place where people come to see uh, cultural landscapes and historic buildings. Um, and it's very pro-economic development of the sort that we want. And it also, you know, it signals our leadership in preserving these places. Um, so it's twofold for me. I think it's leadership in preserving cultural landscapes and uh, more branding for us as a place where you want to go and you want to look at all the amazing historic sites we have here. And I, I presume there would be some form of relatively simple contract. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we don't, you know, this is, I just want to discuss it and get everyone on board. I want you to look at it and then I want to hammer out an agreement with them about, you know, how the money gets raised, what happens if it doesn't get raised, all that stuff. When I looked at the website, I, I think I want to do this anonymously, but when I looked at the website, I saw a reference to a project upon which they had provided technical assistance, and a close friend of mine was heavily involved with that project, sort of back in the day. So I sent him an email just asking him what he has to say about this kind of thing. And if I get any interesting information, I'll let you know. Great. I don't think I want to mention him or the project. Okay, that's fine. Um, you can tell me secretly later. <laughs> With that, but only two of us in the room at the time. Yes, only two of us. Um, now, now there's money in the budget for the, to participate in this. <laughs> no, no. But we have, it's a part town fund, and we have hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, you know, it's just, it's something exciting. I want to make sure you, I told, Charles Brownbaum, who's the director, to start contacting you or, or us is as he, a board. Excuse me, is he the man who was here and did the tour and then in this room uh, presentation? Yeah. All right, so, you know, is any everybody generally in favor of it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I would, we'll, I would just personally love to know if there's any data about, like, what the flow is in other places. Can so, you guys email me just, these questions, like absolutely. data flow and only publicly accessible sites? Can we? Can we do it on the group email that he sent yeah. to all of us? Can you ask him directly and we'll all be on it? And Alan, you ask him about the public accessibility, yeah, sure. et cetera. Thanks. Okay. Um, we are chugging along in our townwide reevaluation, reevaluation, reassessment project. We have about between 100 and 150 people who refused uh, access to their property or any information. So we're compiling a list of that and um, 
We'll send it out to all of our department heads. Uh, we'll pull old um, historic records and we're going to look at all of them with the GIS flyover and um, really focus in on any of them. We're just sort of debating whether or not to send out another letter to these people. It's not in our bid to, with Tyler Tech. It would be something that we'd have to do ourselves. But once I get all the information um, compiled, I'll, I'll give it to you guys and we can discuss uh, what, uh, and some of them are big estates and some of them are, aren't claiming buildings that we can actively see on their property. So it's how, how stringent do we want to be about this to get as much, um, as much compliance as possible? Do we want to publish names? Do we want to send letters? So I leave that with all of you to think how badass we want to be about it. And for me, it ultimately boils down to fairness. It's all about parity. And if you know most people are, are conforming and some aren't, it, it's not a um, I think that's all. Um, I would like to request an executive. Oh, I'm sorry, we have our county uh, legislator here. Uh, <laughs> yay. Yay. Our newly elect, re elect, our newly elected, Brendan Carney. Welcome. Hey. Um, I am looking forward to coming to your meeting on January 4th. That sounds terrific. January 2nd. Oh, you mean, oh, the, yes. that. you mean the accent? <laughs> well, no, it, are we swearing in on the second? I don't. Oh, we swear in on the yeah. uh, 17th. 17th. Oh, that's right. And we'd be here for a holiday lunch. I will. Okay, thank you. Um, so the main thing that happened um, is that for the last um, several weeks and really month or more, um, we've been working on the county budget. Um, and I was part of um, the legislators who approved that budget um, last last week. Um, and part of that that I am most pleased with is a little tiny part um, of this big budget. Um, but we received um, funding to do a study to move forward with the hazardous waste drop-off site um, that would expand beyond the three days a year that people can sign up for because people are, are quickly not able to participate on that day because it fills up. Um, this is for electronic waste, this is for paint thinners, this is for a lot of stuff that ends up in our, you know, in our waste stream. So this is to um, fund a year-round? Uh, yeah. Great. And it would have regular hours. So this, this will not come to pass this year, but there will be a study that will hopefully then let us put a budget forward for proposing where. Um, we have several neighboring counties that are doing this, so we have a lot of places to pull information from. So that is something I've been working on. Um, it's great to see it going forward um, officially so that we can try and actually propose um, what we'll need to do to get that going. Um, and the other interesting thing um, that occurred in the county is that, um, and I'm gonna kind of give you the technical term and then explain what it is. Um, we passed a local law um, to establish a demonstration program imposing owner liability for failure of an operator to stop for a school bus displaying a red visual signal and stop arm. What this means in normal language is that school districts throughout the county can opt into a program um, with the county to have um, cameras on school buses that will record um, in a very limited way um, violators of that law. Um, and then the county would work to provide um, the data to assist law enforcement in enforcing, imposing fines and penalties for people who violate that. Um, I don't, I, I think that, that um, as best it's been explained to me, um, and the legislature, there aren't any privacy concerns or things. Again, this will have a very limited focus, um, but hopefully just increase compliance of who that. Who would pay for the installation of cameras on school buses? The county. Yeah, it's a county program, and school districts do not have to participate. They can choose to participate. I'm surprised the problem is severe enough to call for this. See, I always stop, and everybody else always stops, as far as I see. You know, that's a really interesting question, but apparently compliance isn't what we'd like. No, and and it's, a, it's a, if people are not complying, of course, I know we'd all agree that it's a, it's a pretty sure. significant thing not to I think to it's have. gotten worse nationwide. Really? I think driving is <laughs> compliance with a lot of things. <laughs> Handheld devices. Yeah, for sure. 
Yeah. So hopefully this will just sort of if 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 uh, there's. I, mean, I got rear-ended many years ago while I was stopped for a school bus. There we go. And now, see, I don't know how. I I can't tell you. Um, I can try and look it up. I can't tell you. I don't think our resolution explained the full distance. But again, it was very careful to explain that. Um, it will be limited. So again, issues of privacy and things that sort of immediately came to my mind when I'm reading this would not be, um, okay. you know, violated. Yeah, presumably it's only activated when the bus is stopped. Yeah. Um, thanks, Brennan. You are very One welcome. other thing while you're here. Yep. Um, we are looking at a short-term rental um, regulation in Rhinebeck yep. and um, we it is with the zoning review group yep. and we're going to bring it to the town now with the matrix uh, to work on the the law uh, we uh, I'd like to work with you to get copies of uh, the, the study that, that the counties got sure I'll send you an email I think it's with the Department of Planning yeah oh and after I'm sure it'd be really help happy to help us thank you yep All right. Glad to. Um, that's about it, guys. Um, right. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks. Uh, how do you guys want to handle the short term? Should should we have Jim Johnson and I write up a draft of the law with the matrix that was presented to you, with the two things that we're not sure of written up separately and discuss it publicly, or? Um, yeah. Sounds like I think that makes sense. You do? Yeah. It's okay. Good. And we can release it uh, as a draft law here and um, publicly discuss it and then direct him to finalize the law and go through the adoption process. Okay. All right. I would like to uh, request um, an executive session to discuss the appointment of specific people to a specific uh, boards and um, committees. Yeah, second? Yes, second. Great, we'll Sorry. be back, thanks.